nung una ito, dalawa lang sila. Um, dumating ang mga taon hanggang sa 2010, uh, umabot na sila ng 80,000 pesos. Ako si Eddie Makoy Esparis. Uh, nakatira po ako dito sa, sa Balin sa Sayaw House. Okay, before we go any further, this is a swift lake. It's a small brown and black bird whose nests are a highly sought after delicacy. Here in the Philippines, people eat them in a soup called, well, bird's nest soup. Typically, these nests are found high, high up on cliffs, super hard to get to. Nagbibinta ako, maabot ng 10,000 noon pa, at may 20,000. So when these birds moved in, Eddie didn't kick them out. Instead, he gave them half his home. Nang nagsimula silang kamera dito, 1993. Doon sila sa first floor ng ating bahay. Doon sila nakatira isang, isang kwarto sila. Nest nila, sa bunga nga nila, hindi na labas, parang salay ba. Kasi tigas yan ng ipoksi. Pag binabad mo ng 10 minutes or 20 minutes sa tubig, nagiging parang sagu. So they boil it, add some veggies, a bit of meat, and voila! Bird's nest soup. Pero ang sabi nung nakakain, ang epekto, tayo sa akin, nakakain ako ng epekto, lalakas yung katawan mo. Problema lang dito sa amin, yung hindi nyo napapansin or nila, yung amoy nung lo, kwarto nila. Kasi para daw mintol or decks na pumapasok sa ilong, ang iba hindi kaya. Understandably so. Some people, they just can't appreciate the smell of 80,000 birds worth of droppings. But Eddie and the Swiftlets have an arrangement. Ang relasyon namin ng ibon, as a friend na lang kami kasi nandito na lang sila nakatira sa bahay. Parang borders, ginabayaran din nila ang pagtira nila dyan. <laughs> Siempre hay esa descarga de adrenalina que las emociones siempre están como a flor de piel. He tenido dos caídas, varios ataques. Eso es parte del riesgo que uno asume en un trabajo en pro de la conservación de una especie que se encuentra amenazada. Mi nombre es Alexander Blanco Márquez. Soy médico veterinario y me especializo en medicina y conservación del águila arpía en Venezuela. Es una especie que se cuenta amenazada dentro de la lista roja de la Unión Mundial para la Conservación de la Naturaleza debido a la pérdida del hábitat y por la cacería indiscriminada. Para mí es la rapa más majestuosa del bosque. Sus garras son de 15 centímetros más grandes que de un oso pardo. Su envergadura, su tamaño, la fuerza, la inteligencia le da una característica formidable para ser considerado uno de los animales más impresionantes del mundo. Básicamente escalamos estos árboles que están en un promedio entre los 40 y 45 metros. Capturamos al pichón en el nido y lo bajamos para evitar un posible ataque de los padres. En primer lugar le colocamos un anillo de identificación para nosotros ubicarla en el espacio en un lugar determinado en años futuros. Medimos eh, su largo total, su envergadura y otras medidas importantes para el estudio del animal. Esto es un trabajo peligroso. Estamos hablando que estamos entrando dentro del dominio de esta águila. Está en buen estado de salud. En varias oportunidades he sufrido caídas de árboles. 
me caí de 38 metros de altura en caída libre. Quedé literalmente enterrado en el piso, ¿no? Por ahí mucha gente dice, bueno, tú estás loco, tú vas a seguir escalando. Pero bueno, ese es mi trabajo y ese es mi compromiso conmigo mismo en primer lugar. Y si nosotros no fuésemos locos, no se conociera mucho del águila. Hoy en día nos hemos dado cuenta que la esencia de nuestro trabajo principalmente eh, es crear conciencia a las personas de las comunidades rurales donde cohabitan con el águila. Si las personas aprenden a conocer, protegen y al proteger se conservan. Nosotros hemos trabajado con las uñas, pero ahora estamos viendo resultados de nuestro proyecto. Nosotros tenemos un total de 105 nidos aproximadamente y eso quiere decir que en cierta forma ha dado resultado el trabajo que se ha hecho en las escuelas rurales. A pesar de todas las dificultades, nosotros seguimos adelante. அவங்க பறக்கிறதுல ஒரு ஆனந்தம் நம்ம என்ன தான் வச்சு வளர்த்தாலே அதில் கிடைக்காது அவங்களுக்கு In Chennai, India, there's a tiny camera repair shop run by a man named Joseph Sekar. And I had the Sekar in the world chip. Worldwide, he's on the bird man on the road. Sekar got his nickname because every day he feeds thousands of hungry parakeets on the roof of his home. He didn't want to be any motivating idea. That's why we are all over the world. 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 The 2006 tsunami that hit Southeast Asia flooded parts of India and displaced thousands of birds. Sekar noticed a pair of parakeets outside of his home and set some rice out for them. Then more started to show up. And well... Now when the flood came, the flood came, there were 8,000 parakeets. Feeding 8,000 parakeets twice a day is a great expense. Sekar spends about 40% of the money he makes from repairing cameras buying food for the birds. But for the birdman of Chennai, there is more to life than money. பணம் <laughs> There are so many eagles here. Bald eagles are our national bird, and for most people in the U.S., they're a rare, magnificent sighting, but for us, it's just part of our daily lives. Everybody in town has an eagle story. I'm Carlin Enloe, born and raised in Unalaska, and I am the Unalaska Visitors Bureau Executive Director. Even though our island is almost 80 miles long, there are nearly 600 birds in just a few square miles, which is crazy. There's an unnatural amount of birds here because we contribute to their food source. These bald eagles are so amazing and we love seeing them, but when they're involved in your daily life, they can make running errands or your work really difficult. Doing something as simple as mailing a letter can be dangerous. I'm Officer Wood with the Unalaska Department of Public Safety. Our department put up these signs to warn the community about the dangers of the nesting eagles, which are right next to the post office. Eagles have been known to swoop down and attack people. They're very territorial and they're just trying to protect their nests. The eagle's nest is right there, and here is the post office. Some people have been hurt during these incidents, but I've also heard some funny stories. 
I'm Pam Oss and I run bingo here at the Senior Center every other Sunday. I was carrying this box, it had some of my bingo stuff in it. All of a sudden, a wing hit my head, the talons came down, grabbed the box and flew down the street and I never saw my bingo box again. But if you want to see a whole lot of eagles, you go to the landfill. I'm Steve Bastic. I work at the City of Unalaska Landfill. One of my favorite places to be, also one of the eagles' favorite places to be. I know that eagles are scavengers and predators, so they like trash too. They'll pick at whatever they think might be food. My name is Bob Wilson. I've been fishing out of the Bering Sea in Dutch Harbor for 40 years. Dutch Harbor is one of the largest fishing ports in the world. Every time we pull in, we know the eagles are waiting for us so they can steal our fish as we offload it. Do I think they're pests? Oh, absolutely. But they're cool pests, so that's okay. They make a mess of my boat, which is kind of the, the bad part, but they are our national bird and we love them anyway. How's that? 